today we're going to be working on some addition problems so that hopefully by the end of this you'll be able to practice addition and subtraction problems with integers by completing the worksheet that we have at the end of this. Okay, so the first problem that we're going to look at is negative 8 plus 2. And we're going to use the chip model to solve this, which means that our next step is to draw it out so we can better visualize what's going on here. And in order to do that, we need to know that when we're drawing out positive integers, it's going to be in black, and negative integers is going to be in red. So we can see that in our problem here, we already have negative integers. We have negative 8. So let's draw it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have 2 positive right here. So that's 1, 2. Now that we draw it out, we can get a better idea of what we're looking at, and we can look for any zero pairs. Now, zero pairs is when we have one positive and one negative, and they're together, because that means they're going to cancel out, and we're going to be left with zero. So they're not going to be part of the final answer. So we're looking for them here, and I see that we have one here and one here, because those are going to cancel out to zero. Now what we're going to do is draw whatever we have left here, which is everything that's highlighted right here, because that's going to be our final answer. We're going to draw it over here so that we get a better idea of what we're looking at. So that means that over here we have one, two, three... 4, 5, 6. We have 6 over here, but since it's red, that means we have negative 6. So that shows us that for the problem negative 8 plus 2, the answer is negative 6. Now, let's try it out with a different problem. This time, we're going to do 11 plus negative 4. Now, again, we need to draw it out, and right here we see that we have 11 that is positive. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we have 4 that are negative, so we're going to draw those out as well. 1, 2, 3, 4. And again, just like in the last one, we're going to look for any zero pairs that we have because those are going to cancel out and not be part of the final answer. So right here we have 1, we have 2, 3, 4. So those are all the ones that we're going to cancel, which means that what we're going to be left over with is everything here that is highlighted, and that is going to be our final answer. But to get a better look at it, we're going to draw it alone over here so that it's nice and neat. So that means on this side, we're going to have 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to have 7. And since they're black, that means that it's a positive 7. So that shows us that for the problem 11 plus negative 4, the solution is 7. Good morning, everybody. My name is Monique Diaz. Today, we will be learning about subtracting using a number line. So don't worry if you don't get it on the first try. We will be doing a worksheet after this to help us understand um, how to use the number line. It's fairly easy. Everyone could do it. You could probably do it on your hands, but we're going to be learning on our number line today. So as you can see, we have our number line right here. Um, and on the right side, we have all of our blue numbers, which represent the positive numbers. And on our left side, we have all of the negative numbers in red. So today we will be looking at two problems. Our first problem is 10 minus eight. So what we are going to do is look at each individual number. So first we're gonna look for our positive 10. It is right here. Then it is minus eight, but it, it is a negative eight. So we will be going towards the negative numbers. We'll be going backwards. So starting at 10, we are going to count back eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So as you can see, we found our answer right here, which is a positive two. So 10 minus eight equals positive two. And we found it very simple. Anybody could do it. Next, we have 
Uh, even though it may look a little more challenging, trust me, it's same thing. Negative 2 minus 7. So what we're going to do is look for the first number again. We found it right here. It's a negative 2. And then, as you can see, minus 7. We are going to go towards the, the negative, sorry, the negative side, which is minus 7. So we will go back 7 times. From the negative two. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we found our answer right here, and that is a negative nine. So negative two minus seven equals negative nine. So these are two very simple examples. But again, if you don't understand, don't worry. We are going to be doing our worksheets. And if you have any questions, please let me know.